Hey everybody, welcome back to the Knox Hollow Wood Shop, uh, where we are doing some more wand making today. And apologies for the delay on getting this one done. This wand is actually one that I started, uh, I made this right before um, the um, MizCon event uh, that we did at the end of May. And uh, once I got back, I was planning on getting the video edited up. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit of while with... Um, uh, allergies and uh, dental appointments and just trying to get caught up on all the things that I didn't get to do with all the shows in the spring. Um, I'm a little behind on this, so my apologies. Uh, but anyways, thanks for joining us again, and a big shout out to the member supporters. I uh, really appreciate uh, all your support uh, since we've uh, started accepting those. And if you would like to be a member supporter, uh, you can slide right down to the bottom there and uh, join uh, join the channel membership, and you'll get perks for that. And as well, if you would just like to do a um, simple one-time donation, you can always do the super thanks as well, and we appreciate that. So this Purple Heart Wand, I, I almost didn't, uh, do a video for this because it's it's really one of the more basic wands, but it really just turned out like a really nice, simple, very elegant wand. I really like the look of the finish. And since I already had the video, I thought, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Uh, so it's going to be a fairly quick video. Um, but since it, since it isn't uh, as complicated, I thought I'd go over a few of the, of the things that I often cut out. Um, the first part, obviously, being... Uh, this right here where once I get it into the round, I get the, um, the shaft um, down to the right size to fit in my wand holsters. And then I fit this up inside the chuck. And you notice I fed that shaft in quite a bit up in there. And my goal on this, um, as I've mentioned on my other videos, is to get as much of the wand inside that chuck as possible and that's going to allow a, a much smaller work area there so that uh, the wand is supported and that prevents uh, or helps to alleviate some of the chattering and stuff especially with the more dense woods or the ones with um, different kinds of grain and stuff and that purple heart isn't it's very dense but it's not nearly as bad as like oak or um, winge or something like that that has a lot of grain to it so so that's basically what I've done there. I get, as you can see, uh, I'll just slide it in about as far as it'll go, tighten that up, and now I can actually just, you know, work on this handle. So uh, if you are liking these videos, um, do make sure you slide down there and hit that thumbs up button because that really helps out the channel when you can do that, and it's very much appreciated. So thank you, guys. So at this point, uh, all, I'm do all I'm doing is uh, marking out generally the where the handle um, size is going to be and the overall length on that on the handle is around four inches between the handle and the blade um, those two little lines there are at uh, the the last two sections are between three inches and four inches and that's usually kind of where I, I put um, where the guard would be on a sword um, and it, but for me it's a transitional point uh, in between the handle and the blade itself uh, where I put a little bit more uh, decorative options into that so but it really is just it's part of the handle we'll, we'll skip through a, a little bit of this um, shaping here so you, you get the general idea but right now I'm just working the um, the handle and um, you know the, the grip and pommel and stuff and um, and the guard down down to the general shape that I've got in mind for this and then we'll go through a whole bunch of sanding. So, and we'll we'll cut a lot of that out because I that's really just it's probably less fun for you to watch as it is for me to do because it's it's uh, just repeating the same thing over and over with different grits. So, but this does get polished up to a rather high grit. So, and voila, we uh, skipped a, skipped a bunch of that sanding. And now what I'm going to do is I want to put in some um, friction burn lines with the wire. And this is just a, a piece of steel wire, and I've made a couple of handles for it. You you can use other wire. I when I first started, like I had a scrap piece of um, copper um, wire, and it it did do the burn. The problem is is that copper is very malleable, and especially when it heats up, and you know you get two or three burns, and it just breaks. So you really really want to use like a steel wire for this. But we'll get those lines kind of burned in there, and. Uh, 
get those cleaned up. And I think I decided to put an additional line, uh, you know, up towards the front here because I th I want to do an accent color in this um, with some some gold. And I'm going to try a little a little bit different method to do that. But uh, also, by the way, uh, you don't have to be a paid member to support the channel. You can always just um, go down and if you'll hit the subscribe button and make sure to ring that bell icon. And uh, when you do that, that also helps the channel uh, grow as well. Um, more supporter or the more followers I have, um, the more uh, the more people get a chance to see it. So, uh, anyways, now that now that that pretty much is done, we're gonna get that um, uh, tenon pit parted off, and we'll do some sanding and shaping, and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm just finished up a, a basic sand on this. I, I think I take this to uh, about a, a 320 grit or so. And then what I did is I took this down um, to the spray booth and I sprayed um, some gold um, paint that down across the handle with the intention uh, of really trying to concentrate it into those friction burns. And the idea is once I, once I get the sanding and stuff done on this, then down inside um, those grooves that I put in there, that gold is going to stay in there. And then I, I, I don't paint just terribly often on these um, because, you know, the, the paint sits on the surface and it can wear off. Um, but I decided that, you know, when you do it down in inside recesses like that, then there's not, it, it can't get rubbed. Um, you can't just rub it off easily. So um, that's what I'm trying to do with this. Um, but I did decide to go ahead and go with a um, clear um, lacquer finish on this. I was debating on whether to leave this on, on the high sides on those rings. And I just, I, I didn't like the way it was. It just wasn't going to, um, to work well. So I'll just go ahead and take this um, polish up. Uh, it doesn't go. Um, I don't. I don't go quite as high on the on the pol the fine polish on this uh, because I am going to put a, a a light coat of lacquer on here to kind of protect that. Um, but I did. You you can see that I did do that um, heat treatment on that handle, and that gives me that that nice deep purple, uh, and I think that really sets off. Um, the gold paint um, that we did on that. Incidentally, I, I did want to mention, I am thinking about opening up a new shop um, with a new site called Go Imagine. So if you've heard of that, uh, let me know uh, what you've heard and what you think. It looks like it's going to be catering a lot more towards the handmade uh, since Etsy has started uh, moving in a different direction. So uh, let me know what you think of that. But this uh, this is what that the final wand is looking like. I've got the the finish is still drying on this. I just did a, a, a like I said, a really light um, lacquer finish. Um, but as you can see, the final product turned out really nice, had some really rich colors in there. And that gold paint, I think it just sets it off. So while the wand itself was a re relatively simple, basic shape, um, I really think that gold paint just really gives it a very elegant, refined look to it. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments and let me know also, again, like I said, uh, you know, if you've heard anything about Go Imagine, uh, what you think about um, them as a service and uh, we'll hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.